Hello guys and welcome to what is a bit of a different one. We're actually going to be looking at Stadia today, so we're going to be looking at the games that are on it, how it performs, just a general lowdown. So of course Stadia is Google's kind of system. Now how we first start this off is what I'm currently using is the buddy pack so I have a friend that's got the founders edition and then he then gets an option to send a code to whoever he chooses so I've managed to wrangle myself that so I can make this video for you so the first thing you will need to do is get on your phone you need a relatively new smartphone now I've got an iPhone 7 so it's not too new not too old Download yourself the app, which looks like the little logo that you can see on screen. Once you have that, you'll then need to put your code in. You'll go through some options like making your account, your avatar, choosing your name. Once that's all done, you're good to go pretty much. Now you can play this on smartphone, laptop, any kind of pad, so Android, iPad. Your TV with a Chromecast. Now the app will have an option on it for you to set that up. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be recording and playing on the PC. Now I don't actually have the Stadia controller, so I'll be using a PlayStation controller today, which is very simple to set up. All you do is literally plug it in via. A USB or if you've got Bluetooth dongle that's your other option now I had a little bit of a problem trying to set up this and that was because I was going on to well the first thing you most likely go on to is welcome to Stadia now you have the option at the top like buy now but you don't want to be buying it unless you've already bought it and you see there you're already logged in with a Google account you must have a Google account now you've got some games you'll be clicking on them and wondering why none of them's open so what you actually need to type in is stadia.google.com and that will take you straight onto the site that you need to be now you might need to log in so it compacts with your phone and your computer but once you're in here is a list of some of the games that they have on offer now it has only been out for three weeks so there isn't a vast amount but there are some big names in there so these four will be the three games you actually get to start off with so it's a nice little choice there and then all the other games are quite a competitive price compared to PC, Xbox, Playstation you know, digital copies always cost a little bit more right, so we're going to load up Tomb Raider here now I have already started it just to get through the cutscenes and whatnot. going to be playing about 5 minutes of it roughly just so we get a good feel to see how you know it copes with any lag so obviously it is running off of the Google system. Right, let's load up here. Very fast loading screen, which is great to see. Also, another amazing thing about this is you don't have to download any games. You just buy them, start them up, and you're in. There's nothing worse than buying a game. And happen to wait for it to download for a good few hours. As you can see, the graphics on here are pretty nice. Now, the graphics depend on your internet connection speeds. So, I think I'm around the 25 kind of mark at the moment, maybe 30. So, I think around 35, you have 4K. Around 25, you have 1080p and between 10 15 you'll be on 720p 
now I have a decent, a decent, let's try that again, a decent S computer. Now, I know people that have absolutely terrible computers and games just run completely fine because the spec of your computer just doesn't matter because it does not use any CPU or anything from that. It completely runs off Google. Which is another nice touch so you don't have to worry about your games not being or your computer not being up to spec with the game uh, as you can see this is the first time I've ever played Tomb Raider I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing I didn't even realize that this has come kind of puzzle anyway I'll struggle through this Another thing to note is that the Stadia is £120 compared to some of the brand new consoles that are around three to 400 marks, so there is a third of the price. Right, maybe if we get this cage. Oh, no, okay, we tried that before. Um, I've burned the boxes. Not burning right, maybe I can jump to it. There we go. Okay, that goes up. Ah, oh, okay, all the boxes are in there now, so now we can knock them down the bottom. Yeah, this is performing lovely. I've not stuttered once, not lost any frames. The graphics are nice. It's just running like you're playing a console game. You wouldn't even notice a difference. Let's get, get a horn and out of here. Oh, hopefully, I can make it outside just so we can see what the outside area looks like. No, I've never played a Tomb Raider game once again, so. I want to see what the graphics look like. Alright, come on, keep on running, keep on running. Zoop! And another jump. And another. Oh my, the exit's locked here somewhere. Did I get crashed? Oh my god, that's a guy again. Oh, I think I'm dead. Well, hopefully we get a loading screen here, because I want to see how fast they are. Oh, yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was quick. Compared to a PlayStation or something like that, that was in and out within a second. Very nice to see. Alright, we'll do that successfully this time. And then you got squished. Alright, come on. The exit's got to be up here somewhere. Oh no, our torch is gone. Alright, let's find these buttons and call up. It's got to be the expert, it can't be blocked off yet. Ooh. See ya. Go, 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 go. Oh, never run. Yeah, see ya. Come on, keep on crawling. I think after we get out here, we will load up one of the other games just to see what it's like. Probably uh, have a look at Destiny. I've already loaded that up, so hopefully we can get, cut through some um, some cinematics and cut screens and whatnot. Right, well the game is still performing absolutely perfectly not had any issues at all so let's come out of this one let me pick up my control now right do redo right, that's a good point to leave it um, exit 
infinite, yes. And how to load and screen again, very fast. And quick game. Right, the map, grab a mouse, scroll down, and destiny. So yeah, you literally just click on the game, click play, then it'll come up with a play button, click it again, and you're straight into a game. There's no messing about with downloading at all. rid of that up there, we do not want the mic in game for now. Right, Destiny 2, Shadow Keep. Press A to start, I am using a Playstation controller, obviously not picked it up, so let's jump on into it. little bit more of a longer loading screen there but I think Destiny is quite a big game compared to Tomb Raider. Let's jump into the character we made earlier on. Another little loading screen, oh that was much faster that time. Oh well we have to go for this little cutscene again. I guess it's because I didn't save. Right, speak to the little robot. Or the ghost. How long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. Actually, now I'm your ghost. Looking very, very nice again. Well, you've been dead long now. Absolutely no lag going on. Stadia is performing well. Now, this could rival the new consoles in a big way. So it's going to be so much cheaper. Don't worry, I'm still with you. Hopefully we'll get a few more bigger games on here. Now I've not looked at the whole selection of them yet, but obviously once again it has only been out for three weeks, so can't expect too much yet. This place is an old right, let's go and have a look at this water. Oh yes, it's definitely water. Always have to make sure the water looks nice. Well guys, I think this has been pretty successful, so if you'd like to watch me play any other games, I'm happy to do that on Stadia for you, test out something different, anything you want to know, if you want to see more, just let me know. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.